Today we're going to talk about this word. What is it? Fear. Fear. All right. So, what happens? Or what comes to mind when you think of that word? Surprise. Surprise. Scared. 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 Tensing up. Okay. So what we're going to talk about today is what specifically happens physiologically inside your body when we encounter fear. Can anybody tell me like what kind of physiological things happen? The heart rate. Heart rate. Okay, it's good. So heart rate. Adrenaline. Heart rate. Adrenaline. Keep going. Lactic. Lactic acid. Okay. What else? Constriction. Vasoconstriction. Vascular constriction. Increased high, uh, blood pressure. Right. Blood pressure. What else? Blood pressure. What else? Think of a time when you were scared. Oh, it narrows your sight. Vision, right? Yeah. Vision is, um, it changes, right? What else? Your thinking changes. Hmm? Your processing. Okay, that yeah. processing, thinking changes. Sure. Okay. Panic. You like to Panic. Panic, all right, that is a result. Sure. All right, we can put it over this side. What else? Scared. Fight or fight? Fight or flight? Okay. Is this, yeah, sure. Fight or flight? What else? Well, it almost feels like things just slow down. Just everything is just like. Oh, you're superhuman. <laughs> <laughs> slow down. Are you the flash? Yes. <laughs> things slow down when you get scared. Oh, That's pretty good. Okay, what else? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that, that is, uh, people report that things slow down when you get scared. Anything else? There's more, come on. Negative thinking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, negative thinking. Mm -hmm. okay. um, Helpless. Thinking. Helplessness. Okay. Talk about some physiological things, not emotions. More physiological, physiological things. How about increased perspiration? Sweating, right? What else? You guys ever have to meet a girl that you really like or something at the doctor? What kind? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay. Anxiety. Anxiety, that's emotion, but what's physically happening in your body? What do you feel in your body? Shaking. Shaking, sure. Shaking. What else? Queasy. What does that mean? <laughs> Stomach, butterflies. Kind of like, uh, butterflies in your stomach, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so butterflies. Okay. And what else? There's also a decrease in saliva. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, your mouth gets dry. So mouth dry. gets dry, right? So uh, less uh, decrease in saliva. What else is there? Uh, increased stomach acid. You kind of, uh, that's similar to that. Increased blood pressure, increased circulation. Redirection of your blood to where? The muscles. The mm -hmm. brain. And to vital organs. Mm. Okay. What happens to your arms and your hands? Do you feel cold? Why? It's because your body is actually preserving, preserving the blood into your vital organs. So blood flow to vital organs. Okay. What else is there? Something that is not very uh, cool. Something that's very embarrassing. You piss in your pants, or you shit in your pants. Okay? Yep. So that's another thing that happens. You piss or shit in your pants. Scared? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you really analyze and evaluate what's happening to your body, can you kind of give me, see what picture is happening? Okay, when your vision, your pupils actually dilate when you're, when you're scared. What happens to your vision? Actually, now you can see more. Right? And your focus is, is it best, better or worse? Worse. No, it's better. No, your focus is increased. Yeah. Okay, it's you see. It's supposed you, to increase your chance of survival, so yeah, it's supposed to be like hmm. in survival mode. Your focus increased. You read some police uh, reports when they had to shoot the guy. Um, all they see is the target, down to the, bunch, the most finite detail, when they're scared. So what's the, number one? Your vision actually enhances, doesn't it, when you're scared? Okay. Let's look at a. Uh, let's look at the uh, adrenaline. What does adrenaline do? 
gives you more energy and pumps you. It gives you more energy so that you can run faster, you can hit harder, you can move faster. Withstand pain. Right. And also, uh, yeah, take more pain without feeling it. Uh, what does uh, heart rate do? Goes up. Oxygen. More oxygen to the muscles that you need. What, what is a uh, decrease in saliva? Do you need to talk when you are fighting? No. no. So it preserves that energy, preserves that energy so you can use it for something else. What happens when you uh, blood flow, flow to the vital organs? Keep it running. Keep it running. Okay. What happens when you piss and shit in your pants? You get lighter. You're released every day, so you yeah. don't have to worry about that. Yeah. You don't have to carry that literally shit with you. Okay. You can move faster when you have less weight. Okay. Uh, what happens when you um, perspire? You get slippery. Keeping the body cool. Keeping the body cool controls your body heat. What happens when you feel queasy? And and what is that? It's actually an acid in your stomach. What is that? It's called cortisol, right? Increased cortisol levels in your body. What does cortisol do? It's a hormone. What does it do? It's a, it's a bad thing. It's a, it, it helps in vasoconstriction. constriction. Mm -hmm. So well, cortisol is not... Have high levels of cortisol. Yeah, cortisol is no good if you have it constantly because it leads to stress and it leads to heart disease. But in that situation, in that moment, what does cortisol do? It does all of these things. It actually triggers a lot of these things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in the midst of fear, what actually happened to you? You're ready to fight or run. You become sort of superhuman yeah. for that moment. Okay. Now, it, it's not good to obviously have that occur in your in your life repeatedly, <laughs> but when when you need it, your body is actually turning you into a superhuman. So, how does that help you when the next time you get scared or next time you feel these fears? Use it. Okay, so there's an article I forgot to bring it today, but it's by a doctor, a PhD, and he says um, the difference between people who panic and the people who survive is through training and discipline. What does training and discipline do? It makes you turn this into something that's going to kill you or something that's going to give you energy. Because fear itself is just energy, isn't it? All this is all chemical reactions, all this is energy. So are you going to be able to use it for good, to help you, or are you going to let that energy uh, basically kill you? And the difference is in the training. How do we train our minds? How do we train our bodies to be able to handle this? Okay? Because we, even the most trained cops or military people, you ask them, are they afraid? They are scared shitless okay? when they encounter uh, like their situation. Everybody, nobody is... Uh, uh, free of fear, okay? But it's how much you train your mind, how much you train your body, and that's what we're doing here, are we? What we train are our mind and body. our body, so that we can have a way to deal with all these and recognize what these are, making you a what? Super human. Super human. All right. So that's the lesson on fear today. I hope that helps you out. So we we'll see you soon in the next class. So what do you think about that? Any comments, questions? I don't know if you're, if you're so always there. So unless you have to practice and practice so when something like that happens to you, you act. <laughs>